Hey guys! Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited. I have my beautiful daughters, Victoria and May here. And we are doing a what I eat in a day raw vegan video. I've been raw vegan for almost seven years and I feel absolutely amazing. Right guys? Yeah. And I still do this lifestyle even though my family don't eat raw. I still cook for them. People always ask me all about that too. So I'm going to give you guys tips in this video. It's going to be a good one and let's get right into it. Okay, so lately I start every day with freshly cracked coconut water. It is totally worth the time to take to get these at the store. And I got this opener on Amazon years and years and years ago and it has held up over the years. It's amazing. I think it's called a Coco Jack and it's in my Amazon store linked in the description. And these are just like meant for us. Mother Nature's electrolytes. This is truly meant for us. It just grows so high in the trees and does so much for our bodies. So I can't recommend it enough. People always ask me where I get these. So I get them, I'm in Toronto. I get them at the No Frills Market or at the Asian Market. Many grocery stores, you can ask them to bring them in if they don't have them or check your Asian Market. So these are amazing. I absolutely love coconut water. So look how easy it is to crack these. And if you guys are wondering where my kids went, they went to the mall with my husband because I can't film with them around. It's just absolute mayhem and chaos. So there we go. Look at that beautiful coconut water. So usually lately I start the day with two to three freshly cracked coconuts. You guys, I keep them in the, free, in the fridge so they're cold. It's just the best. And when I wake up, people always ask me, what time do you start eating? Usually I take my kids to school around 9 a.m. and then usually eat after that or have this after that. And what I love about this lifestyle is these foods are alive. They're living, so it makes me feel more alive. It makes me feel amazing. Such a drastic difference, you guys, in how I felt before when I ate the standard American diet. Even when I was eating just cleaner cooked food, it's such a huge difference in how I feel. And I think that's because the water content and the enzymes are mostly taken out of the cooked food. And listen, I'm all for everyone doing what you want to do. I don't judge at all. You have to do what's best for you. But for me, this lifestyle, hands down, is literally the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, I usually work at home and work on my YouTube channel through the day when my kids are at school and I have the coconut water and then I snack on other things. So lately I've been snacking on in-season fruit. I've been switching it up. I used to like juice all day and I love that too with smoothies. But lately I've been doing the coconut water and then snacking on in-season fruit. So the grapes have been absolutely delicious. They're so good for your lungs. I did a grape cleanse once and it was the deepest cleanse I feel like I've ever done. And I just feel like these fruits are in season at this time for a reason. So I always feel like it's best if you can to like eat the in-season fruit because God created them at that time for our bodies for a reason. And if you haven't tried persimmons before, these literally, you guys, taste like apple pie. I don't, it's crazy because my whole childhood, I didn't try one of these. My whole teens, my whole 20s, I'm 41. I think I had my first one from Eli Martyr, the fruitarian at the fruitarian or Free Melon Society. I think he gave me my first one last year at 40, I think. These are so good. So this lifestyle, I've found all these amazing foods and they taste like apple pie. So you want to eat these when they're like this, when they're like really squishy. Some people probably see this and think like, oh, that's, that's bad, right? But that's when you want to eat them when they're like crazy squishy and they are so good. So that's what I've been snacking on that and that. And then sometimes too, I scoop out the meat from this and I eat a little bit of the meat in between with the coconuts. Okay, I'm just setting up this for my favorite juice that I've started drinking every single day. And it's by Lou Corona. You guys have probably heard me talk about him and seen his videos if you watch this channel. I met him in real life in person in LA earlier this year or like six months ago. And he's in his 70s. He had more energy than anybody I've ever seen. Like we filmed so many videos and I swear he could have just kept going all night. And he looked amazing. He's so compassionate, so empathetic. And he's been living this lifestyle for 51 years because he almost lost his life at age 21. And this is his secret green juice. We are about to make up, in my opinion, the best juice. I interview so many people on this YouTube channel too who have had hugely positive and amazing experiences doing juice cleanses or transforming their life. So many of them drink this juice. I cannot recommend it enough. It's amazing. And you know what? So many people come on the channel too, I find, because we have a lot of new people. And they wonder, like, what problems did I used to have? Like, how exactly did this lifestyle change my life and everything? And after my daughter was born, the oldest daughter you saw in the intro, I had so many health problems just come on. And I guess because I was breastfeeding and not sleeping, my body just couldn't keep up with, like, the crappy food and all the problems. And I had major digestive problems, like, big time. I wasn't having proper bowel movements or I was constipated. I was having panic attacks. I don't know if you guys have ever had those, but I would be in the hospital and literally think like, this is it. I'm going to die today. I used to call my mom and be like, I'm going to the hospital. Like, this is it. The panic attacks would be so intense and so bad. I had such bad back acne. Like I couldn't even wear a bikini and I was just not thriving. Even, even if you see pictures of me, I'll try to put a couple pictures on the screen. It was freaking night and day. 
And the first day I went raw, I think it was September 1st, 2016, I literally felt like better than I'd ever felt. I had always been a drinker and all these other things, trying to find like ways to like get highs and feel good. And the raw food just one day, and I know that's not the case for everybody, but I was just like, holy crap, this is insane. I can't believe I feel this good. And even my husband by the end of the day was like, whoa, like I see a huge difference. So it's changed my life so much. And I get for a lot of people, this is super extreme. I'm not dogmatic. I'm not judgmental. So like I'm all for like, supporting whatever people want to do on their path. But I can't recommend enough if you feel called to try it because I did try all these other diets and lifestyle first on my journey over the years trying to fix these health problems. And my blood type is O. I used to hear like your blood type O, you should eat the meat diet. So like I tried that. I tried all these diets. Nothing was working. I wasn't feeling good. And then I went raw and it just like clicked and it changed my life like nothing else. Led me to my purpose. And my overall life quality is a million times better. And it's just incredible. So and this juice is incredible. So the first thing we're going to put in is one full bunch of cilantro. And I used to rip these stems off, but I did a video with somebody recently and they were like, no, leave the whole stems. There's so much nutrition. So we'll put the whole stems in. And next we will put in one whole bunch of parsley. These herbs are so good, so healthy. It's such a great way to get it in, in the juice. And people are like, Jill, why juice? You can get the fiber like with the whole food, but just you got to try it. Okay. I'm just all for trying it. If this did not feel good to me, I would not take the time. I would not be doing this, but this feels freaking amazing on just a cellular level. Nothing makes me feel better. So people ask me too, how do you do this when your whole family's not, this is one of the keys adding in green juice every day. It makes me feel so high vibe, electric, alert, creative, amazing, energetic. And it makes me want to stay on that frequency. And that frequency is like the high vibe raw food. So like I don't even feel tempted when I'm cooking their meals or when I'm like doing their dinners, but I'll talk to you a little bit about more what I cook for them in a bit and let's get this recipe. So this is parsley and these herbs are just so detoxing, so cleansing and incredible. It's a great way to get them in, in the juice. It's easy. And we're going to put in two bunches of spinach as well into this recipe and shout out Lou. I love you so much. He's a dear friend of mine. We spent hours and hours on the phone together. And if you guys are looking for a juicer, this is amazing. This is what I recommend. So this happens to be the C2. It's a juicer and a blender in one. So it's really awesome. And people ask me all the time, is it good as a Vitamix? And in my opinion, it is. I gave away my Vitamix. Vitamix is obviously amazing. So no diss to them. But this fits all my needs. It's awesome. And you guys can save if you want to get one. I'll put my code down below so you can save 80 bucks on one or an Ama juicer. And I just want to say when you guys a tip, I don't think I said it before, but when you're juicing or blending, it's always good to load like the lighter stuff first. So we're starting with like our light greens that are super easy to, ju to juice and then working our way into like the heavier stuff in the machine. I always recommend that, especially with blending and stuff. So we'll put in one whole large cucumber into this recipe and we'll put in one large bunch of celery. Is celery called bunch, guys? Tell me what it's called. I think it's called a bunch, but we'll put in one large of those. We have a lemon to put in and we have three inches of ginger. We have three inches of turmeric. It got on the counter. So just be careful with this stuff because it just really stains. So I always try just, you need a glove almost. And we will put our apples in as well, two apples. And with this juicer, you can cut up your apples or you can do the whole apple as well. So sometimes I just switch it up. Okay. And half a habanero pepper. This is really intense, the habanero. So play around with it. Sometimes it depends how big the habanero is. Sometimes I'll do a third. I think Lou does a whole habanero. That is just like way too intense for me. So usually I find between a third and a half of the habanero. And then I cut it with a little bit of water after as well. So you'll see in one sec. Okay. And one thing I love about this, if you guys, most people know about the Nama, most people have the Nama. So many of you guys buy and use my code and I appreciate the sports so much. It's how I'm able to make these videos because I have videographers, editors, all these things, because I'm not technical. So the support means the world to me, you guys. And a lot of people already know this, but if you don't, like these juicers are great because you can put all your stuff in. You can run around the house and do other things and it makes the juice for you. You get such high quality juice output and you get so much juice from your produce. And if there's anything I'm going to recommend you add into your life, no matter what your lifestyle would be one green juice a day, it is freaking amazing. It's my favorite thing ever. So let's do the epic legendary Nama pour. You guys, this looks so good. It gets me so excited. This lifestyle makes me so happy and so excited about all the meals. They're so vibrant, colorful, like the rainbow. And it literally makes you feel that way. It's so great. And okay, here's my mason jar. Most of the jars and lids that I use, people always ask, they're in my Amazon store. But this one I got at the dollar store. Isn't it cute? It was like a dollar for three. And this one comes with like these blue and white or blue and red checkered lids. Okay, so I'm going to put that much in and then I'm going to cut it with some water. So Lou cuts his with water, I believe. And he says we absorb the juice better when we cut it with a bit of water. 
And I just feel what with the spice of the herbs in this and with the habanero, it's nice to have the, <laughs> this is the only juice I add water to. And I just want to say too, with like keeping on this lifestyle with your family, not eating this way or the people around you, this is the one thing I would recommend, like add this in the afternoon or drink it like when you're making their dinners and stuff like that. And like I said, you'll feel so high vibe and amazing that you typically won't want those foods. And also if you're transitioning to a healthier lifestyle and the people around you aren't healthy or you're cooking meals or like getting takeout for them, that's not healthy. Just keep in mind, it can take time for your taste buds to change. Like I think there's studies that say it can take 21 days. Who knows? It could take longer when we've eaten such crap for so long. So it can take time. Like for me, I just felt so good right away. And I didn't even want to go back to those foods because of the way I felt. I was like, I don't want to not feel this way. And I played around with it and tried cooked foods and different things over the years. And I just don't feel this way if I have it. So that's why I do it. But look at that. Look at the life in that, you guys. Look how good that looks. So good. So healthy, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I made it good. Oh, it's got that spice. That has got the spice. So if you're a little oh, on spice, then do a little bit less than that. I did a little more than a third. I did about a half of that habanero. So, but it's good. It just feels so healthy through your body. No exceptions. I make myself take the time to make one of these a day. This juicer makes it easier and it's worth the time because you just feel so good. So I have that. And then if I'm still hungry before dinner, I'll maybe snack on some more fruit, like fruit, coconut water, and green juices through the day or what I do right now makes me feel high vibe, creative, amazing. When I'm working on my YouTube channel, taking care of my kids, doing all these things. And then I have a really delicious, savory, satisfying dinner. And my favorite thing to do lately is a raw vegan pasta with a side salad. And I'm going to show you two. I don't think you might have never probably seen these on the channel yet before, but I start with a salad. And I like to, I don't, I'm not able to grow my own food or I don't grow my own food right now in the city in Toronto. But the next best thing is I think buying this living lettuce at the grocery store, try to buy as many things living as you can. I think it just is better for us. So I'm going to chop up the side salad first. Okay. And people always ask me all the time, like, what do you cook for your family? How does your family eat? So my oldest, May, who you saw on in the intro and you see on the channel all the time, she's 11. And recently she started to really care more about how she eats and taking care of herself. So I'm like so freaking happy to see that blossoming in her. It makes me so proud and I love it because before like she just didn't really care at all. So it's really great. And so she is like, I'm plant-based. I want to be plant-based. She does eat the odd salmon. But other than that, she eats eggs sometimes, but she's pretty plant-based like most of the time on her own doing. I didn't push it down her throat because she's just the type. If I do, she runs the other way. And my husband, he just eats everything. People always ask me, we don't have the same lifestyle. We've been together since I was 17. We, you guys know we split up for a couple years there, but we met when I was 17. I'm 41. So it's like a 24 year relationship. And I found this path when I was like 34, right after I turned 34, I think. So like seven years ago. And he knows it's like, so good. And like, he's seen such a huge change in me and knows it's like the way. And he's always like, if I get sick, I'm like doing a juice cleanse or like doing your way, but he's not hundred percent on it at all. He, <clears throat> he travels for work. He's traveling in the U S most of the time. And like they go for meals and he's just, I'm not going to force it down his throat. But when he is, um, home with me, he's like, I make him the side salads and he likes the juices, likes the smoothies. And he's like, wow, this feels so much healthier. So like, we just do the best we can, right? Okay, isn't this cute too? I got this at the dollar store. I got three of them. They're so cute for salad dressings or dips or things like that. And this lifestyle, you can prepare some things ahead of time. Most things like the green juice, I like to make and drink fresh because I just think it loses some of the life putting it in the fridge. But I don't know, dressings, I, I do store in the fridge for a few days and they're preserved with certain things. But this one is so good. I made it in my blender. I made it yesterday, popped it in the fridge and it's olive oil. I like the Bragg's cold pressed olive oil. And if you don't like oil, then I mean, you don't have to do it. Obviously, I go through phases where I like some oil. So some olive oil and some flax oil are a part of my diet. But this is just olive oil, some fresh herbs like dried oregano, basil, thyme, rosemary, sage, that sort of thing. And then a clove of garlic. And that's it. You blend it up. It is delicious. Tastes just as good as being in Italy. Oh, it's so satisfying, you guys. And so fresh and so easy just to prepare right at home. So I'm just going to shake this up a little bit and then I will add that to the salad. So that will be the side salad I have. And then I'll show you the amazing pasta recipe after. And raw vegan pastas are one of my favorite things. They are pretty inexpensive to make because zucchini is just so cheap and you can make them so easy with one of these handheld spiralizers. They do have another kind I used to have too, where it was like this and you just wind it. They are so amazing and they actually taste delicious as a pasta noodle. And I do recommend like you take these out of the fridge ahead of time and leave them out for a few hours so they're not so cold. And then when you have your pasta dish, the blender also kind of warms up the sauce and 
this way. And then it's like uh, not a cold dish. It's more like a warmer dish, which is really nice, but it's still not cooked, so it's amazing. And I do have an amazing video I did with my top four favorite raw vegan pasta. So one was an Alfredo. One was the one we're about to do right now. One was a tomato pasta. And the other one was an avocado basil pesto pasta. All so good. So if that video is out right now, I'll link it below. And if it's not, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, so in this recipe, this is a delicious creamy cashew corn. The flavor is unreal. My mom doesn't eat this way, the raw vegan lifestyle. She eats everything. And when I make this for her, she's like, wow, I could eat this way. Like, this is so good. So I really recommend this dish. So with this, you're going to use one cup of soaked raw cashews. We are going to use one cup of raw corn. Many people don't realize you can eat it raw. It's actually delicious. And it's really good in these pastas. I like it on a taco salad and in this dish. And I'm going to put in one clove of garlic as well. And then let me just cut this corn. And I have a great recipe book too. I will put down below. It's only 25 bucks. It has over 100 pages of all these easy raw vegan recipes. So with this too, with this pasta, you can put a lemon or a lime too. Adds a nice flavor and it also preserves it if you offer it in the fridge. And then I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And then I'm going to do a little bit of nutritional yeast. So that's up to you. Some people include other diets, some people don't. I don't have it very often now and then. It does add a little nice flavor. It does have some B12 with some nutrients to it. But I don't know. Just if it's, Some people I know are fans of it and some people aren't. So if you don't like it, don't do it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to blend as well. If Shane came on the channel and he said his dad told him like our gut is like a compost bin. And with or our gut is like compost. Like outside, you can't put animal products in with compost because it won't break down properly. It like putrefies. So the same thing goes for like our gut and our microbiome. We want to put the plant foods and just have a healthy microbiome. And then we have like a healthy consciousness, a healthy happiness, all of those things. And it just interferes with that with some of the other foods. But this looks, this is amazing. So satisfying. So I'm going to put some of this. It's a little bit thick. You can make it a little bit thinner if you want to add a bit more water. I could add a bit more, but, and my hands are clean. Don't worry, guys, but you can do it with spoons too if you want. And with my family, like I do enjoy cooking for them. I love like nurturing them, taking care of them with like what they want. I do find lately, like I'm having a hard time with like the, like, I don't like to call them animal products because they're not products, like they're animals, but like the smell and the cooking of it in the house, it's not too often, but I'm just like, I know a lot of raw vegans and vegans are like, married to people who are and I have family who are they're like it's not in my house so like that's kind of what I'm leaning towards like not being in the house and if they want it like they get it on Uber Eats or like something because it's just like really grosses me out now like they had a Taco Tuesday and there was like some ground beef in the house recently and literally just looking at it I swear if I stared at it for like five seconds I would have thrown up so I'm just like I don't know if it's because I've been raw for so long or what like because I'm like thinking how do you see these things I don't know but Anyway, here's this on another note. Here's this delicious creamy corn. Oh, that is so satisfying and delicious to me. I literally can't wait to eat this after this video. And the salad just looks to me like I could use a little bit of sea salt and pepper. So I'm going to do that as well. And then so at night, I try to take a little bit of time off with my kids, maybe watch a podcast. I have some favorite podcast channels. And I like to also snack usually lately at some macadamia nuts. I know they're expensive, but they're totally worth the money. They taste so good. And they're good for your gut, your brain, so many other things, just like all these foods are. And I think a lot of people think this lifestyle is like crazy expensive. I have a good video I did on how to do it on a budget for $50 a week. I will link that down below. And I did do that a couple years ago. So I'm planning a new, more current one. So subscribe for that. But it is totally worth the money. And meals like this are not expensive at all. You can make dressings and big batches of stuff in your fridge. And it's worth it. You're worth it. To me, it's absolutely worth it. And I don't eat out all the time anymore. Now that I eat these foods and see how delicious they taste and how much they benefit me, making them like fresh from the grocery store, fresh from the farmer's market, or freshly picked when I can, that's my priority now. Not going through drive throughs eating out at restaurants and things like that. So my eating out costs are next to nothing because I don't do it. And if I go out to eat with somebody, usually I'll eat before, or if I'm at a restaurant with them, I'll just order like a salad with some olive oil and lemon if like that's all that's there for me. But it's actually, I would think, probably less expensive if you look at what I used to spend drinking, partying, eating out, all these other things. So, and you're worth it. Like, these things totally change your life. It's led me to start this channel, it, which has turned into a big business, which I didn't even expect it to because it's great. It's my greatest passion in the world. And it's just turned into so much abundance and so much amazingness, all from how I've decided to start treating my body, respecting my body, and taking care of myself. So you can have that too. I hope this video inspired you to go eat more raw, raw foods or go be healthier in whatever way that means for you, for yourself, because I support that. Everyone is on their own journey. 
And I love you guys so much. I am blessed to have the best followers on YouTube. I swear to God, you guys are just the absolute best. So I love you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.